Hello everyone, BJ is a pretty back again with another review. This is the, well, the number 17 deck by Stockholm number 17. That is a new company by Lorenzo Gaziotti. He, uh, he's caught, instead he's going by Lorenzo Gaziotti. He's not going by the company name of Stockholm number 17. That is his, his official first deck. Number 17 in front of the box, you see a jester clown type guy, looks a little bit depressed. He's got a spade on his forehead, a club on one hand, a heart on the other. There's diamonds on his sleeves. And it says number 17, 2014, volume 1, Roman numeral for 17, and CL for card launcher. On the sides, you just got some diamond patterns, uh, in case you didn't see the front very well. On the top, uh, it says something, I can't tell what, I, I think it says something, but it's underneath the seal. The bottom it says card launcher, and then there's some other stuff that's hard to make out, but it does say card launcher and deck number 17, version 1, 2014, designed by Lorenzo Gaziotti, and it's autographed by him. So he's messaging me. The back, so the back design, which is pretty cool, definitely different, and it does say cardlauncher.com here, um, right there on the back design on both sides, just want to point that out. The seal is a custom seal, it says card launcher. And it says original, it's a nice foil seal. And in the bottom there's also a seal that says guaranteed rewards delivery and has original all over it as well. Which is, it is all card launcher related. Lorenzo Gaziotti is involved with card launcher as is low track of half moon playing cards. So that's that for the box. We do get some more of that diamond pattern on the flap. And multicolored flaps here. Inside you do get a double backer. It's a little bit off center, it looks like. I'll focus on there, I apologize for blurriness. But you do get a double backer, like I said, it says cardlauncher.com in here. It's got a nice flower in the center. Uh, there's all sorts of interesting details. It looks very nice, elegant. Definitely different color wise and, and for what you see. Jokers, you get this one in black, it's the same guy from the front of the box. It's in black, it says cardlauncher.com black. Joker in red in the two corners. And he's got the guaranteed rewards delivery logo between his legs. <laughs> Odd place for it. The other Joker is Basically identical except it's in red. Cardlauncher.com is in red. Joker in the two corners is in black. And this one has the Deck Refinery logo. Deck Refinery is a new form related to Card Launcher. And you might want to check it out. Although there wasn't a lot happening last time I checked. Ace of Spades, definitely different and cool. Spade tip on the top there. There is a Roman numerals for 2014. Just Card Launcher. In a big circular shape, similar to what you see on the back design right there, there's a big circle. Well, there's a big one here as well. And it says cardlauncher.com on the bottom again, if you can read that. The other aces, pretty interesting. The pip in the center, a big pip with that circle around it, and a little pip up top, which is definitely unique. Court cards, definitely, definitely uh, unique. They all got that circular pattern. For all, um, very interesting. And they got the red ones have a red circle, black ones have a black circle. I'm not sure exactly who 
they represent, if anyone, but they're pretty awesome nonetheless. And that's that for court cards. Number cards. Uh, you do get some custom pips and pip orientations. That's what the fours look like. The fives, the sixes, the sevens, the eights, the nines, definitely different, and the tens, also quite different. Um, twos and threes are basically standard. That's why I didn't sell them originally. That's what you get. It's a pretty cool deck of cards. Um, it does have a embossed linen finish, stock, a little bit thick in comparison to like a bicycle, definitely has some thickness to it, whoops, unfortunately they don't fan the greatest, maybe it just needs to be worked in a little bit more or something, but so far for me they're not handling the greatest. But, that being said, I do believe these were printed by MakePlainCards.com. Don't quote me on that, I'm not 100% sure. Look at this, they fan very nicely face up. But turn it face down, and you don't get to quite get the same result. Nothing wrong with them overall, they're just not the best for fanning. But they do got a good stock and a good finish. Outside of that, they spread very nicely. Uh, they definitely got uh, some elegance to them, and they're different, unique, beautiful. I like it. These ones, however, are a little bit harder to get. There might still be some left. They were made in very limited quantities. And I believe sold on his website. Uh, I'll post a link in the description. I think it's Stockholm number 17.com or something or other. And they might be available on United Coast as well. That is the number 17 deck review. I'll see you next time with more.